let me explain how you can destroy demons. I'm often asked, what's the difference between deliverance and exorcism? Well, deliverance doesn't always attempt to destroy demons. Deliverance can refer to many kinds of spiritual intervention. That's why I call myself an exorcist, because I do exorcisms. An exorcist destroys demons. Deliverance doesn't necessarily require demonic manifestations or confirmation. Deliverance can be quiet, calm, and unperturbed. Exorcism is often rowdy, loud, in your face. And I don't do deliverance light. I do heavy deliverance, militant deliverance, defiant deliverance, bold deliverance, aggressive deliverance. I name demons and I bind them. I torment them. I cast them out. I find the source of family bloodline curses down to the exact number of generations. Exorcism, which means interrogation, torment, expulsion, purgation, purification, and the demon's abdication. That's what I do. That's why I'm an exorcist. And by God's grace and the power of Jesus Christ, I feel I am called to destroy demons. Frankly, I'm getting a little tired of hearing puffed up preachers call themselves apostles or prophets. We have far too many apostles or prophets and too few exorcists. We have so many who want the prophetic that has become pathetic. What we need are spiritual warriors who fight demons, not deliver ambiguous prophetic messages that sound like they were ripped from the headlines of Fox News. I read this week that some prophet has seen orange and purple angels. What we need to see are fiery red demons and send them back to hell where they belong. Consider these scriptures. Mark 1, 23-24. Now there was a man in the synagogue with an unclean spirit, and he cried out, saying, Leave us alone. What have we to do with you, Jesus? Have you come to destroy us? 1 John 3, 8 says, For this purpose the Son of God was manifested, that he might, what? Destroy the works of the devil. Like the word deliverance, the term spiritual warfare means many different things to both Christians and non-Christians. New Agers use the term. They use those words, spiritual warfare, to describe combat against negative energies or dark alien forces battling against the light, whatever that means. Even among evangelical Christians, spiritual warfare can have a watered-down application. Spiritual warfare, to those who don't actively practice deliverance and exorcism, often signifies Almost any kind of prayer or Christian activity that is moderately exposed to evil. But real spiritual warfare addresses demons directly by name and assignment and strips these evil powers of their ability to torment, consigning them to the pit spoken of in Revelation 20. Here's another scripture to consider. Matthew 8, 28 through 29. When he had come to the other side of the country, to the Gergesenes, There met him two demon-possessed men, coming out of the tombs exceedingly fierce so that no one could pass that way. And suddenly they cried out, saying, What have we to do with you, Jesus, Son of God? Have you come to torment us before the time? In these last days, more than ever, we need anointed men and women of God who will destroy demons before the time of God's final judgment. Your financial support and prayers make it possible for us to bring hope for the hurting and freedom to those in spiritual bondage. For the latest information regarding ministry outreaches, go to boblarson.org or call 303-980-1511.